Hello and welcome to another tip video. This one's on coaches and staff. I'm going to start off with uh, the importance of intelligence and here's my first example. This psychologist here has happiness control 83 and personality boost 82 but his overall is 79. This is because his intelligence is 57 therefore these stats are actually being brought down whereas if you have the same stats and intelligence at 90 it's possible it would be higher than 83 um, and therefore that psychologist would be a lot more effective. Just another example to show how effective intelligence is. If you look at these players here uh, and make note of their overalls, like Ortega 81, uh, Lane 82, Pierre 79 and then you get a coach with good intelligence like Atlas Wallace, his intelligence is 98. Uh, and therefore you'll see the effect that intelligence can have on a player's overall because we go back to the squad now Craig's now 81 whereas he was 80 just because of the intelligence boost um, the head coach can give so a head coach gives an intelligence boost to the entire team depending on what his intelligence is Little as a boost of 1, Riley as a boost of 1 etc etc so let's move on to what people would say is possibly the most important thing for coaches and that's scheme fits um, and they can make your players so much better all up to a plus seven overall which is the highest and each it goes from plus one up to plus seven uh, you see this guy's special teams his play calling is 87 and play calling is what affects the scheme fit so his play calling is 87 which means it's between 85 and 90 which means a scheme fit effect of plus five the OC play calling is 90 and 90 to 95 is plus 6 and so that's the, that's the effect he'll have on his offence and then you move on to the defensive coordinator his play call is 99 therefore it's 95 and above and that is a scheme fit of plus 7 which is the highest you'll get and this goes all the way back to 65 where the scheme fit is plus 1 now I want to talk about training for a coach this is for offensive, defensive and special teams and training as you can see here is 90 so the training effect on the will be very good and so with this effect it's, I think this is really useful especially early game and especially as I'm finding an extreme mode I think training is more important than play calling because if you've got a higher training on one of your coaches then that player might raise anywhere from like two to three to five six seven levels in a season and um, and obviously play calling is just a permanent effect of that plus five or plus seven to their overall the whole time whereas training can increase every season and keep going up and up and up so it's a lot more effective and obviously it's helped by raising the training facility but just running the training on a coach can really help your players improve now back to the head coach and motivating and game management which is something I'm sure everyone will wonder about um, now as far as my knowledge goes I have a save in challenging uh, difficulty and there's a head coach who I've kept hiring you on here and I haven't changed their motivating all game management from 85-85 uh, I think it is and left it at that the whole time and I eventually got to a point where I was winning the Super Bowl every season so I'm not sure how much motivating in game management affect it but I'm sure probably helps if they're a little bit higher so it's up to you if you raise them or not but maybe someone can comment on this video and let me know if it is really effective or not right next up let's cover the schemes now on the head coach you've got offensive scheme and defensive scheme and the difference between the offensive schemes are pass orientated or run orientated if you're run orientated you have two starting running backs and three starting wide receivers. If you're pass oriented then you have one starting running back and four starting receivers and that's the only difference and it doesn't matter which scheme you have the stats don't really it won't affect the stats in terms of running game or passing game I find that's mostly random and then for defensive scheme you've got 4-3 four, three, or 3-4 three, if you're a 4-3 you've got three starting defensive tackles and one starting middle linebacker. If you're a 3-4, you've got two starting defensive tackles, 
and two starting middle linebackers. And that's the big difference there on the head coach's schemes. Now let's get on to the coach's schemes. So offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator and special teams coach. Uh, the offensive and defensive coordinators have about six or seven schemes. I won't list them all, but essentially there is no difference between any of them. It's just literally a game plan that each coordinator has and you just, the main thing you want to do is match players you bring in through the draft or free agency to the game plan of your coach. That includes special teams as well, where there's, I think, three schemes or three game plans, whatever you want to call it. And again, there's no difference between any of them, even though on special teams it's called aggressive, conservative and balanced. All three do exactly the same thing, really. Again, it's just a matter of fitting a player you sign to the game plan that any of those coaches run. That is the only difference. Let's move on to the staff now. The scout, the doctor, the psychologist and the marketing manager. As you can see at the bottom, there's these support staff effects. For the scout, you've got market knowledge. For the doctor, injury resistance boost. For the psychologist, personality boost. And for marketing, income boost and fan base. And so for the scout and marketing, both of their stats raised the support staff effects, whereas the doctor and psychologist actually raised two different things, but only one of them is shown on this staff effects here. So let's quickly jump onto the scout. As you can see, his market knowledge and player judgment are very high, and therefore his overall is 94, and therefore our market knowledge in that previous part showed 89%. If you can so if you can bring up player judgment to 95 or 99 as well, then obviously that market knowledge will get even higher. And so that's why you're always after a five star scout because you want to try and get market knowledge and player judgment as high as possible to get your team's full market knowledge to as high as possible so you can see everyone's scheme fits and abilities and you can just sign the best players possible and the best coaches and the best staff. A scout is one of the most important people to sign at the start of the game. Now on to the doctor. And so injury prevention is the injury resistance boost you see in the scout and effects page. Um, but injury recovery is how long a player is injured before. So the higher this goes, then the less time a player is injured before. Uh, so it's worth raising that. But in the NFL, obviously players can get injured for a long period anyway. But injury recovery does really help to shorten how long players are out for. Next up is the psychologist. And the personality boost is the thing that you see on the scouts on the staff status effect page and that helps to bring up a player's personality so that you can possibly move them from one personality to one higher than that so that it takes down their contract requests when it comes to renewing them as for happiness control obviously players start to get unhappy if you lose games or angrier players can get unhappy fairly quickly and so the happiness control just helps to boost their happiness a little bit and keep it at a better level. Obviously it doesn't fully stop the angry guys getting really unhappy, but it's definitely a help. Now lastly, and by all means least, is the market manager. Um, marketing obviously affects your fan base and sales affects your income boost, but I've never seen this staff boost higher than 10 or 11 percent so for me no matter what market manager you have it's never higher than 10 percent so it doesn't really matter just get one sign him and re-sign him over and over again because that's not going to change um so really there's not too much more to say on the market manager just get one as long as your boost in the staff area is 10 or 11 percent that's all you're going to get i hope this video clears up anything people might not have known and if you did, you know, hopefully it's just a helpful video for people to use. Uh, see you in the next one.